Just delete the layer. Ah! How many times does that happen to you? You're in Photoshop and you've got a project that you're working on. You put an adjustment layer up there and you're like, ah, you know what? I'm going to delete that. So you click on the layer and you go to delete it and you hear bong, 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 bong. It just will not stop, right? I'm sure that the noise that it makes on a Mac is slightly different than what it makes on a PC, but it is outrageously annoying and it's something I've lived with for years. That is until I learned how to fix it. I know I usually teach you things on Photoshop that are like crazy color grading tools and tips and techniques and all that crazy stuff. But today I'm going to teach you something very simple. It's how to stop that outrageous ding bong, whatever that happens when you try to delete a layer from your layers palette in Photoshop. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and just give you an idea of what is happening. I'm going to put on a vibrance adjustment layer just for grins here. Now I put this on. I'm like, oh, you know what? I meant to pick another layer. Then I go to delete it and it doesn't delete. What is it doing? Well, what it's doing here is that there's a parameter here that was set to zero. And when I put that vibrance adjustment layer on my layers palette on my stack, that had a number in it, which was zero. Now what's happening is Photoshop is expecting me to put something in here, like as if I would know that I'm going to make my vibrance 16 and then press enter. And after you put something in there, yes, you can delete it, but let's stop it from the beginning. So watch this. If I put another vibrance adjustment layer on here inside your properties tab, if you don't have your properties tab open, you go to window and you go to properties. Okay. And inside that properties tab, you're going to see this three little lines here. Click on those three lines and you're going to see this check mark here that says auto select parameter. When we turn that off, the next time we add a vibrance adjustment layer or even a curves adjustment layer for that matter, it will not auto select a parameter down here which means at any time we can delete that layer without a problem. It's going to select the mask first. We'll delete the mask. Then we delete the layer just by pressing delete twice. So that just saves us some time from having to drag this and drop this into that little teeny tiny trash can icon. I like to move quickly and fast, and that's why I like to use the delete key. So if this auto select parameter thing has driven you nuts, like it's driven me nuts for the last umpteen years, that's how you fix it. I can't believe it took me this long to figure it out, but Hey, at least we figured it out and I don't have to hear that bing bong ding dong ever again. Ah! Thanks for taking the time to watch this. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. I like to take difficult things or silly things like this and make them seemingly simple so that you can use them in your workflow today.